What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dylan Talks Tone. We're gonna do another kind of um, how to on the bench thing today. Uh, and it's for a couple of reasons. One, because we haven't covered how to solder a cable. I don't know that I've ever done this on my channel. I've, I don't think I ever have. So today's the day we're gonna do it. And um, it's also going to be a way to announce the fact that we're going to be carrying some more runway audio stuff on our on our channel, which is on our site at Dylan Talks Tone, which is really cool. Uh, they make really, really good patch cables. And these patch cables uh, come in a do-it-yourself kit. So I figured, you know what? Let me get a do-it-yourself kit from Runway Audio. Let me demonstrate how to solder some ends on some cables and then tell you that they will be available on the website. There you go. Um, oh, another thing, new hat, new Sasquatch hat on the website. Cork, laser, done here in house. None of this third party business. We actually do it ourselves here now that I have a laser to do such things. So anyway, yeah, let's get over to the bench. I'm gonna show you how to solder a patch cable. All right, so we're gonna use these the Runway Audio Do-It-Yourself Patch Cable Kits. Um, and, oh, they also sent me this. Let's look at this really quick before we do that. This is a pedal board organizing kit. So it comes with a bunch of stick-on zip ties and little stick-on things. So you can kind of get that all one shop, one stop shop. All right. And I should say that these will be available on Dylan Talks Tone. We're going to do the same thing with the other stuff that we do um, where they ship it from, from Runway. So I'm excited about this. I really, really like this stuff. Uh, let's get this stuff apart. I'll show you what comes in these kits and we will. All right. So it comes with, I think, well, it's variable, variable amounts, but I think you can get like 10 feet of uh, their patch, patch uh, cable material. And it looks like two, four, six, eight, ten of these really nice um, square, square ends. So um, what we need for this is just some wire cutters and a knife. I'm going to use a pocket knife and a screwdriver that can take off this cover. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this cover. And I'll show you what's underneath here. This is the square end dude. And I like these because they've got two tabs. So you've got your ground tab over here and you've got your center conductor tab here. Instead of some of the cheaper ones where you actually have to solder to the chassis, which is super annoying. Uh, big question is, how much do you strip off when you make one of these cables? If you put the end of the cable on the center of the post and then, so, so like that, and then mark it right about here with your finger. See where the square stops and the kind of the pinch part, you know, cause it's gonna close down on the cable over here. So where that ends from the center of that to there is probably where I would strip the insulation off to. So we'll just use a pocket knife because I use a pocket knife for everything. All right. So now uh, we've got the braid exposed. So now what you want to do is take the braid and kind of come up from this direction. Now you could do this with a knife. I guess you could do this with a um, little screwdriver, fork, little pick, something, and take all this braid and kick it to the side, okay? Kick this all to the side like so. And then I like to kind of like twist it up into like its own little cable, okay? Now, you see this black stuff? This black stuff needs to come off too. This is actually conductive, and if you don't get it off of there, it will um, 
the cable won't work. So I just give that a little slice. And it comes right off, but you just you just have to make sure that it's all off. Make take it all the way down to you know right there where it meets. All right, and then we'll go ahead and expose a little bit of the end of this right here by stripping it back. I'm trying not to over bear down on my knife because I don't want to cut through any of the conductor. All right, so now we've got exposed our insulator on the outside, which is gonna be our ground, and we've got our center conductor. So uh, the soldering iron is on, and let's go ahead and put this, I have helping hands somewhere. Maybe I should go find them. Ah, that'll work. All right, so now we want to go ahead and tin both of the wires. So just apply solder to the braided side here, like so. Don't let it move so much. So helping hands would be handy, I suppose. All right. And let's go ahead and do that center conductor. Cool. Now we're ready to put the tip on there. Let me go find my helping hands. It'll make it easier. All right, so we got our helping hands all set up. Or our one helping hand anyway. Let's go ahead and tin both of these. So this is gonna be your center conductor here and this is going to be your ground tab over here all right so now let's go ahead and connect our ground tab with our pre-tinned wire over here if you don't pre-tint ahead of time it's going to be a pain so make sure you pre-tint ahead of time Perfect. Now, center conductor over here. Boom. And see, we've done this at the right length, so that lays in there perfectly like so. Put our little flap down. Put our cap on there. I can't really do this with the camera in the way, so I'm going to Oh, here we go. We got it. Cool. I usually take it out of the little helping hands thing and just make sure it's nice and tight. And as long as you've not let anything touch anything it's not supposed to touch, you have successfully soldered an end onto a patch cable. Basically, plug this into a pedal, string it over to where you want it, give yourself a little bit of room so it's not totally tight, and then repeat the process. Trim it off this much, the insulation down to to this far into the thing, strip it off, make sure you get that black stuff out of the way, pre tin everything, solder it, and boom, there you go. And these will be super high quality. You, If you do this, these will be very, you know, if you do it properly, these will be very, very reliable, way, way more reliable than any kind of solderless stuff or anything like that. So anyway, super cool. So there you go, relatively straightforward. Um, I would just say, a couple things. Make sure you use um, a soldering iron that is capable. Um, like the 40 watt Weller is pretty good. The little stick ones that you get, you know, at electronic stores and stuff, uh, they're not so awesome. But the 40 watt Weller will work. The orange one that's like 50 bucks, something like that. That thing will work really well. Uh, we use Kester 6040 solder here. 
Um, I'll leave a link to a couple of these things in the description. And of course, I'll leave a link to where you can buy this on our website. Now, here's the thing about this. Um, you're going to be buying a Runway Audio product and they are going to be fulfilling it at Runway Audio and shipping it to you. So um, it, that's kind of how it works. You'll be ordering it from me, but, but, but they'll be fulfilling it. And it's kind of cool. So just to, uh, the idea is just to be one stop, you know, you can get the guitar cable from us that is the uh, kind of exclusive colorway to Dylan Talks Tone. And now you can get these as well. So there you go. Thanks for hanging out. I guess we will see you tomorrow. Oh, do me a favor, like and subscribe. Uh, if you would, please, it helps out the channel. We uh, are getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. And uh, if nothing else, it's a sign of perseverance <laughs> and all the hard work we're putting in. Anyway, almost daily videos. I'm trying to do a daily video all throughout May. So thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow.